Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the prime factorization of 50. Remember, for the prime factorization of a number, we can break the number down into its prime factors, the prime numbers that multiply to equal the original number. So we are decomposing a number, breaking a number down to only prime numbers. So as far as 50 here, we need to start breaking this down by thinking of two factors, two numbers that multiply to give us 50. Well, 2 and 25 are factors of 50. 2 times 25 is 50. So let's break 50 down into 2 and 25. Now there are other factors that we could have started with here. For example, 5 and 10. 5 and 10 are factors of 50 as well. And yes, those other factors would work. Depending on the number, there can be multiple different factors that we can use. So there can be multiple ways to do these. But in the end, we will get the same prime numbers. And that's what's important. So keep that in mind. Now let's continue breaking this down. So we have 2 and 25. Now 2 is prime. The only factors are 1 and 2. So we are done over here. We can't break that down any further. So we're going to circle it to show that we have a prime number. Now 25 on the other hand is a composite number. So we can break 25 down. So we need to think of factors here. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 is a factor of 25. So let's break 25 down into 5 and 5. Now 5 is a prime number, so we are done here and here. And that's the prime factorization of 50. We cannot break anything else down any further. We have all prime numbers. So we can write this out as 50 equals, and then we can put our prime numbers in order here from least to greatest, and we are multiplying. So we have 2 times 5 times 5. If we have the correct prime numbers here, they will multiply to equal our original number. So let's check here. 2 times 5 is 10 times 5 is 50. So we are correct here. So there you have it. There's the prime factorization of 50. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.